Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box. If you ever want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. That means this may resonate with you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. What needs to come through, please, Spirit, from Scorpio, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, in love and in life, what needs to be known, seen, and understood in regards to this connection, please? Eight of Cups, so leaving behind something that no longer emotionally fulfills you, walking away, closing that door. Like I say, some of this could be past, present, future, okay? Uh, it's going to resonate differently for all of you, okay? Depending on when you view this. But leaving something in the past... Closing that door out, maybe looking towards new opportunities. Yeah, maybe reconnecting with someone from your past. Uh, and again, this may be a specific type of reading here. I feel like you're walking away from something and walking towards a soulmate. Walking towards someone that you may have had a past life with or uh, are reconnecting with in this lifetime. Maybe there was a missed opportunity in the past and there was always like this sense of familiarity and belonging with this person. Um, some of you may even had kids with this person for some of you. Um, <clears throat> or may have children with this person is what I'm being told. That you may be distant from this person. This could be like some kind of opportunity to see each other, like a trip that's being planned. You may be leaving and going towards this person. There could be a move involved. Somebody could be planning to move, you or them. Like yearning, wishing, waiting, hoping, praying, looking for some type of opportunity here. Like, I, I feel like I'm seeing somebody, like, looking online for plane tickets or looking at bus tickets or, like, playing, like, hotels. Like, they're looking at some kind of, something about travel. Yeah. So, I want Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. I mean, it could be any sign. We do have a lot of water, a little fire, a little air right now. I mean, again, it could be any sign, though. But it's like leaving something in the past behind you. It no longer emotionally fulfill, fulfilled you. You weren't getting what you needed. I'm hearing maybe you weren't uh, respected in a past situation with someone. And, like, you know where you belong. And now the, the opportunity has finally come around to connect with someone from your past. Like I said, some of you, it's past life. Some of you, it's past in this lifetime. I feel like it's some kind of situation that didn't come, did not get off the ground in the past, and like it was a missed opportunity. But now it's like the right time, and you've been yearning for this, and looking forward to reconnecting with this person. Some of you have reconnected with this person online, and now you're planning to go see them, or they're coming to see you. Like it's, been, I feel like it's been a while, and like you're curious about this person. I get like this energy of like both of you being incredibly nervous. Uh, and again, I don't feel like this is going to be a read for everybody. I feel like this is, this is definitely a very specific type of message here that's coming through for a, a very specific group, uh, collective energies. I feel Page of Swords here. This person could be younger than you. You could be a little younger than them. But I feel like there's a lot of questions here, a lot of curiosity with this page. I feel like you're looking for answers, trying to understand this person, um, maybe spying a little bit, like kind of. Uh, I, I kind of got like an energy for some of you. If you've, recon if you've reconnected with this person online, I feel like they've been like deep diving on your social media. Like, you know, like when you're like looking at someone's social media and like you're just kind of curious or whatever and you're kind of scrolling and you don't even realize that you're back to like 2014, right? <laughs> and like you are like, oh my God, did I accidentally just like that photo? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. They're going to think I'm such a creep. <laughs> but like you, you were just kind of like blindly scrolling and wouldn't paying attention kind of thing. Um, that, that's kind of like the energy that I've got with this person. It's like they're watching you, they're like looking at your old photos, and they're like really paranoid, they're, like, they, they're really curious. Like, again, I don't feel like it's in a creepy kind of way, it's kind of like, wow, she's so beautiful, or wow, he's so attractive, or, you know, um, oh, I, I, what a cute dog. <laughs> wow, she looks just like her mom. You know, like, I feel like this person's like really just kind of curious about you, and like where you've been, and what you've been doing, and like you know, looking to see if there's any photos of, like, you and your ex, or, like, your kids, or, like, your family, or, like, your work. They want to get to, like, know more about you, what you're into, how much you've changed, you know, especially if this is some kind of reconnection for some of you. Um, really just getting to know you. For others of you, if this is not a past person from your past in this lifetime, this could be past life, okay? Like, you feel really familiar with this person, like you've known them before, and maybe you have with this type of energy here. 
and now this person just like wants to maybe you met them online like you guys are planning to like meet and again like I said some of you may have already met them but this could be like part of the past but we'll look a little more let's look at this person I want to see what they're thinking what they're feeling what their intentions and potential actions will be towards you what is on their mind please spirit what are they thinking when it comes to this connection with Scorpio please spirit Well, well, male, female does not matter, okay? We're talking about the energies of the cards here. So, Queen of Cups is your energy. This is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, right? So, you could be doing the fellow water sign, but I strongly feel like this is you, okay? And when this person thinks about you, they're like, wow, Scorpio is so sweet and kind and considerate, you know? Doesn't, like, blow me off. Like, if I needed to vent about my day, you know, Scorpio is going to be there to listen to me. And I don't feel like this is a cross watcher read. I feel like if, if there's a cross watcher here, I feel, you know what I mean? Like, no offense, you know, always say take it how it resonates, but I, I get very heavy, prominent Scorpio energy in this reading. I feel like this person sees you as just such a loving, empathetic, possibly even intuitive energy here. Queen of Cups is a healer, okay? She's, you know, somebody that you would want to come home to at the end of the day because she's going to, no matter how crappy of a day you've had, she's going to put her arms around you and make you feel comforted and at ease. She's not going to give up on you. She's going to be in it for the long haul. She's going to give her all to you. And there's just beauty in her authenticity of who she truly is. You know, she wears her heart on her sleeve. Sometimes in, in an emotional way, sometimes in a passionate way, but she's authentic and true to herself. She doesn't try to play mind games. She doesn't try to manipulate. She doesn't try to control. Mm. some of them may see you as a mother in their feelings we have the high priest so they feel like you are a very mysterious individual okay they feel like they know how you feel about them but as far as like who you are like there's just this i want to say like seductive mysterious uh, all knowing to, like how do you know the things that you know kind of energy it may even like I say she's kind of an she can be an empath she can be an intuitive okay so is the high priestess the high priest can be like a tarot reader or a psychic so you may have those abilities but uh high priestess this could be pisces cancer sometimes virgo especially with all this earth in this car that's really strong virgo energy there um but the high priestess you know she knows she senses she feels she, uh, she's holding the owl here, okay? So she's holding the key as well. Like she know there's some kind of knowledge that she has. They feel like you know them. You see through them. You understand them on such a deep level. Like there's something almost supernatural about your abilities to just like perceive them and like know them without them even saying anything. And a part of that could, you know, also be the connection that you guys maybe have to like a past life. Uh, but there's like this really neat spiritual connection they have with you. They feel like, they feel like they can't hide from you. And not that they're trying to hide or deceive, you know, I don't feel, and if, if, for those of you who are coming to my comments and, you know, be like, well, that piece of shit. <laughs> Listen, I will tell you straight up in a reading if the energy that I'm picking up on is worthless. Like, okay, you piece of shit. I will tell you straight up. I will tell you. I don't get that at all with this person. I do not get this at all with this person. I feel like they're very different from your past. Very different. So some of you may not have met them yet. Okay. Um, <clears throat> their intentions. Travel. So there's like, yes, there's some anticipated meeting here. I feel like some of you may not have even met this person or it's been a long time since you've seen them. I feel like there's a strong energy of like meeting them online or a lot of communication over the air, text, email, social media, DM, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, anticipating to come and see you. That Some of them have a child. Some of them have a child and they want to meet you. Some of you have a child as well. This is probably just for like a couple of you, but I kind of see like, you know, we have her with her daughter here and then we have him with like his son here. I get like the energy of like they're, they can't, they're going to like bring their kids. Like they're going to have like a play date or something like that. Like they want to like connect with you in that way. They see you as like an ideal mother or father, gender irrelevant. Actions towards you, please, in this connection. What are their actions? <clears throat> Eight of swords. 
I do want to say there's a meeting, okay? There's a meeting that's taking place between you and this person. However, I feel like it goes amazingly well. I feel like there's like yearning here for each other. Like a lot of like, I can't wait to see you again on your side of things. And they're over here, I can't wait to see you again. But I can't, you know, I mean, I have to work and I've got family. The kids got school. You know, I can't just uproot my home. We live at a, a distance from each other. I can't wait to see you again. Um, but there's like an energy of like... I feel so stuck because I have to return back to reality after we see each other. It's like, I miss you. I feel trapped here. I want to come to you. I wish I could just pack up everything. Maybe they have a custody agreement or maybe they have some kind of like job situation or a uh, house. They can't just like uproot their life. And it's like, there's just this missing you energy. Um, that doesn't mean that it's hopeless, that it's not going to work out, but it's like, there's like this energy of like, I can't wait to see you again. You know, I wonder what you're doing right now. You know, I miss you. I can't stop thinking about when we were together. Yeah, the world. There's an opportunity here. There's some kind of travel, and there's they're really upset about this. Okay, they still want to work on this with you. I feel like this. I feel like there's a meeting coming to pl take place. Okay, you guys are coming together, and I feel like this energy here. It's like they're working really hard to save up to come see you again because it's not like it's in the cards for them to come every single weekend. I feel like there's obstacles, you know, like family, work, obligations. They can't just uproot their life, you know, at the drop of a hat. It's like uh, they're working on it though. It's like they're working to save, save money to come see you. Yeah, I feel like this person's taking extra shifts. They feel held back from you. Okay, listen, this is so deep. Um, it's like they're they're taking all this extra work. They're saving money little bits at a time. This person has got so much on their plate. They're taking extra shifts or extra jobs or, you know, uh, trying to kind of build up their finances, like doing odd jobs and things. Like they're trying to do this and they feel stuck. They feel like they're hitting their head against the wall. It's like they can never seem to kind of get ahead, you know. There's like messages and news coming in to you that they're going to, they're going to make it happen. They are telling you, there's a lot of communication coming in here. This person's telling you it's been difficult, but they're not giving up. They're going to come see you again. They want, you know, they want to be together. Um, they're very emotional at this time with the Moon Pisces Cancer energy. They're very emotional. I love these, I love these cards. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh, the wheel of four, they, they, they're, they're, they're waiting. Okay. They, they, they're like unveiling all of their hard work here. They're like, you know, guess what? I've saved up. I'm ready to come to you again. The opportunity is here. I'm working really hard. You know, if I've been silent, it's because I'm working so much and I'm trying to make this happen for us again. Listen, Scorpios, I've got goosebumps. Do not let this one get away. This person is like going to move mountains to be with you. Like it's not easy, no. But I mean, nothing worth nothing worth fighting for ever is, right? We have forgiven and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, like I, said, I feel like some of you, your side or theirs, are moving away from toxic past energies and really putting your heart out there. Like, forgiving the past, but you don't forget what really happened. And learning to move past it and move forward. And it's actually opened the door um, for this soulmate, for this reconnection here. Um, and some of them, they may actually be asking your forgiveness as well for not being as available as you want them to be and I feel like they're explaining to you that it's because they're trying so hard to like earn money or save or make plans to see you again playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to find to shine like that yeah they just it's like there's a really heavy there's like a meeting it's great but then there's a like separation again because obviously you go back to reality I gotta go back to work I gotta go back home I gotta you know, for some of them, take the kid back to, you know, baby mama, right? It's like, or baby's dad, you know, it's like, they have, maybe they have joint custody or something. But like, it's like, after that, it's like, they can't wait to see you again. But I feel like they're, they're working really hard to get back to this so that you guys can enjoy each other's company again. It's like, they're trying to figure out how to make this work. It's not like, I feel like this is not the kind of situation where they could just hop in the car and come see you overnight. It's not that easy all the time. They have obligations that they're trying to clear out of the way. But I do see them coming back in. Opportunities here with the world card. That's what I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for sending in donations. They are greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you for your uh, likes, shares, and subscribes. As always, I'm wishing you guys strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.